Brian here with Help Sell My RV.com out of Louisville, Kentucky, where all RVs are for sale by owner. I'm actually up here in Terre Haute, Indiana to do a walk around on this beautiful 2017 Coachman Leprechaun 260 DS Double Slide Class C gas motorhome. Overall exterior length is 27 feet 5 inches and the exterior height to the full walk on roof to service your 15,000 BTU AC unit is right at 10 feet 11 inches. This is a second owner coach, kind of give you an idea of the floor plan before I get started. Second owner coach, the only reason why the current owner is selling it, because they want to get an Airstream. So it's definitely a nice uh, camper to get into. Usually in my videos now, I start my way from the back and then work my way up front, and that's what I'm going to do on this. First slide out is going to be a queen bed. Queen bed does lift up, there's storage up underneath. The headboard is going to look like wood, but it's a uh, cloth, padded cloth headboard. And the mattress is a plus mattress, so it's not a little cheap mattress like they usually put in some of these class C's. 32-inch uh, flat screen, I believe. Samsung, name brand, and fantastic vent fan. They don't give those away. That definitely was an option. On your blinds, I don't know if they came with the level or blinds, but these are all level ors. Push a little button, they go up and down. They're in excellent condition. And they are the night shades or the blackout shades. And there's little Velcro straps when they go up. Little black Velcro straps keeps them tied up. There you go. You do have a nice solid wood pocket door, not just an accordion door. Uh, or a little plastic door that folds away. That's definitely nice in a Class C. Porcelain toilet. And you do have glass enclosed shower. This is kind of a big deal too in a Class C in this uh, class because uh, usually they'll just give you a, a little plastic a squeegee accordion door that rolls up or just a curtain. So that's definitely a nice feature. And I'm gonna say that's a feature that the current owners put in, the little teak floor. Keep your feet out of the water when you're taking a shower. Pretty cool. Skylight. And this is a neat concept that uh, Coachman does. Sits on a lip right here. You've got more counter space. So when you're getting ready, that is definitely a neat concept. Thermostat controls here, easy to figure out. All your cabinets are all going to be uh, solid wood. I used to be a Coachman certified sales rep for a uh, dealership and I know how they do their cabinets. But uh, when you open them up, they don't wobble. You won't believe how many other manufacturers will do those cheap little cabinets. When you open them up, they wobble. So. Keep an eye out for that when you're looking and shopping around. Second slide out here in the living room. It's going to uh, accommodate the all the way from the pantry all the way over to the jackknife sleeper sofa. That's a, yeah, it's definitely a super slide uh, for a Class C. It's about uh, 12 foot long and about 2 foot deep. Pantry. Always got to show off the pantry. The owners opted for some up uh, little little uh, decorative knobs looks like they got them at like Hobby Lobby or something well, they got different ones but um anyway if you want the original knobs I'm sure you can get them uh, at Hobby Lobby or any kind of a uh, hardware store but pretty neat pretty neat gas electric refrigerator and that looks like a uh, eight cubic foot and it's a Dometic and it is gas and electric so whether you're boondocking or hooked up to shore power uh, or driving down the road uh, with the cup takes about a couple hours to get cold but and it's cold it is cold automatic you just push down turn it on auto and you're good to go look at that nice pots and pans drawer here on the fascia uh, I do look for any kind of damage any kind of wear any water damage did not find any issues uh, as far as water damage in the living room area bedroom area but I did notice this little piece of fascia 
and these are usually just tack nailed on and it looks like it just needs to be tack nailed on I'd even put some uh, Gorilla Glue back behind it and uh, tack nail it on but these are just tack nailed on for cosmetic it's just for looks but uh, I did find that and I'll t let the owners know but that's a non-issue to me condition on the sofa is pretty much great to excellent normal wear and tear uh, there's no staining or anything like that maybe a little bit of wear on the cushioning right there but uh, definitely definitely a nice sofa this is 2017 we're getting ready to go into 2023 so yeah definitely a normal wear and tear and that's a futon style back and bottom uh, breakdown and you can sleep one adult or maybe two kiddos on that and here's your level or blinds with better lighting here's your level or badge there just push that button to go up or down and they're all in great condition so puck lights all LED lights inside and again man they managed to get every single knob different pretty cool uh, some kind of etched glass finish that's nice okay up in the cab area I do look for water damage and if you anybody watches any of my class C videos first thing I do is I look up in the corners for any wrinkling any uh, splintering any uh, little like polka dots or uh, pimples in the wallboard and I found some right here obviously I'm pointing it out right now but uh, the owners believe that the people last people who slept up here um, left the window open but it's not soft or anything like that that's what I do I look for any crinkling uh, any wrinkling and it didn't cause any wrinkling but usually this is a sign that a window has been left open uh, so anyway to me that's that's cosmetic and it's really a non-issue but uh, it's good to point out I think but I do usually check for wrinkling in the corners because these class C's usually they're known for uh, leaking at some point but uh, on this you have a front motive fiberglass cap which I'll show you that Coachman does and it em eliminates any kind of water damage coming in inside or outside and I'll show that when we get outside fantastic vent fan there's another one and this does have max air vent covers that I'll show you little screen here and this buckles up there so if you want to store stuff up there while you're driving this is kind of like a seat belt for any kind of storage up there so it doesn't fall back on you when you go to brake and go forward uh, another looks like a Vizio 32 inch flat screen that looks like it's probably something the current owners just kind of put in but uh, there is a swivel arm comes out and swivels so people can watch TV in the living room looks like a DVD player here And your boot dinette's going to be the huge, almost a U-shaped boot dinette. Well, it is, but uh, this actually folds in when not in use. I'll go ahead and show it off. And that pushes in. So you have more floor plan space to walk around. Another neat concept Coachman's doing with their boot dinette. And your fabrics on the um, jackknife sleeper sofa that I showed you and on the boot dinette, it's going to be a, it's almost like a, oh gosh, I don't even know, not a corduroy, but uh, let's see if I can pan in on it a little bit more. Like suede finish. And the color is going to be a tan in color, no staining or anything, and obviously this table comes off, breaks down, and make into a very large bed. Definitely sleep two adults, or squeeze in a bunch of kiddos. Your kitchen area, you do have a glass cover for your three burner gas cooktop front burner, usually a high output for boiling water lots more counter space with that glass lid and not just in a, an aluminum lid that they usually have on your traditional um, covers for your three burner cooktop definitely a nice little upgrade oven looks like it's never been used huh pull out sprayer faucet that locks in nice and neat kind of like a chef's faucet I guess is what they might call it microwave I do have the generator on and the digital readout is working on the microwave and I gotta make a correction. It's a convection oven. All right, stainless steel finish usually means it's a convection. Pretty cool. Nice uh, wood backsplash. 
I thought that was a peel and stick. It's not. Huh. I don't know if that was factory or if that was something that the current owner or the original owner did. Pretty neat. And I do want to point out all the closet space and they've got it loaded down. These are some of the accent pillows and these are usually for the bedroom, but I think they were using them for the living room, but accent pillows for the bedroom and a little neck pillow there. They're all there. Central command here. I'll show that after I show off the cockpit area because I almost forgot to show off the little cockpit area when I've got a good aerial view. Cockpit area. Pilot and co-pilot seat are in good condition. A little bit of scratching it looks like on this seat. Uh, the owners do have dogs, the current owners, and uh, there's really not a lot of wear at all. Uh, just uh, looks like maybe some, some claw marks, maybe a dog sitting here. But I'll show that to you, but there's no sign. I didn't smell any dog smells or anything like that. But there is a little bit of dog fur, a little bit. On your, co on your chassis, it's going to be the Ford E450 chassis. So you have 7,500 pound tow capability. It is sitting on the Ford chassis. Uh, the 305 horsepower, 420 foot pounds of torque. Definitely nice. So this is the big chassis, the E450. And you do have the full camera package backup camera and the two side cameras and they're all integrated into your stereo here which is all Bluetooth by Furion got to show off the Furion badge it's got all the smart stuff on it on the stereo so all right and it's got the wood grain finish on the dash cup holders there and this actually this whole thing pops out the uh, service area for your engine and this actually can pop out so if you want to walk out for the pilot co-pilot seat to access the living room area it makes it a little bit easier but that's an optional feature to pop in and out all right you got it oh and this goes up and folds away so you can get in and out without hitting your head all right and again i checked all corners inside the camper and the only thing i found as far as water damage which is really just cosmetic front as i said from the window being open just right here uh but uh yeah all right central command here uh, you're starting up from the left top water pump switch just kicking on you've got water uh, pressure and then the uh, water heater is going to be I believe a six gallon gas electric water heater I'll have to double check but it's gas and electric direct spark ignition whether you're boondocking or hooked up to shore power within 15 minutes you've got hot water and you do have uh, electric, uh, tank heaters on this it's probably some kind of a polar package that they have but uh, these are tank heaters and you just flip them on and it keeps your tanks cold you can go into extended season on this. Uh, slide buttons one and two, generator start and stop button, and then you have a prime button here, so you prime, hit that, wait till the blue light comes on, and then hit the generator start button uh, so you're not dragging down the battery because you're trying to pump fuel into the line for the generator, so that's definitely nice, a prime button. You don't usually get that. Hours on the Jenny, 135 hours, and your holding tank capacities, uh, LP tank is going to be a 68 pound LP tank and it's full. Uh, batteries, yeah, nicely charged. Freshwater tank is going to be a 50 gallon freshwater tank and your black tank, which is your toilet. And looks, I don't know if the sensors are dirty or what, but it looks like they got a little bit in the tank. Uh, uh, 31 gallon and then a 31 gallon gray tank, which is your sink and your shower. And auxiliary, that's probably for a second, like black tank or something like that, or a second, I'm sorry. Well, a second uh, gray tank, probably. And yeah, all right, let's turn this generator off. Usually I forget. There we go. Yeah, before I close this door, okay. You do have the Bigfoot leveling system on this. This is a huge deal if you're looking at a Class C. Most of your Class Cs are not going to have the four-point uh, leveling system on it, and this does have it. And this is going to be your converter. So if you have any issues with your breaker box, there you go. You're all good to go right there. Easy to access. Uh, battery disconnects. So you're not, when you're not using the coach, kick the batteries off. Uh, just hit them off, and you won't drain your battery. These are going to be light switches awning button 18 foot power awning and your front light cap let's light that up let's see what that looks like and you are ducted furnace all throughout ducted ac which is as i said the large option 
out a 15,000 BTU AC unit with quick dump features so you can open up the louvers right there and it does a quick dump and once you get cooled off after a couple minutes kick those louvers off and you've got ducted AC all throughout and your furnace is going to be a 30,000 BTU furnace more than enough for this 27 foot floor plan let's go ahead and get this closed show off that Asdell uh, colored almost like a, it looks like a uh, full body paint but it's not uh, the asdell fiberglass finish on this is moisture resistant so you won't will not get delamination which is the bubbling you usually see on some of these class c's or well class a's or anything uh, that's got a fiberglass skin but this is asdell it's moisture resistant so uh, you won't get any of that bubbling and of course this beautiful front motor fiberglass cap eliminates really any issues you usually find on a class c with leaks up in the front Nice leprechaun badge by Coachman. And Coachman is made by Forest River. And if anybody knows my videos, uh, I love Forest, uh, Forest River Class C's. So nice LED light accents. And they are all working. Look at that aggressive. Yeah, Ford 2017. 305 horsepower, 420 foot pounds of torque, 7,500 pound tow. Got to show off that E450. So you know I'm not lying. There you go. And side cameras. And you do have a backup camera that I'll show you. And you do have the, I believe this was an option. I, well, I know it was. The outside entertainment center. A stereo and TV and Bluetooth ready on your stereo. Uh, yeah. Outside speakers. Let's show this. Show off what it looks like when it's closed. Your windows are probably usually going to be an 80% tint protects all the fabrics inside there's one of your tool uh, storage bays maybe for tools and you can actually hose this thing out I think I think they're rotocaster yeah it's aluminum okay. looks like the owners made that just to make it a little easier step walking in I'm assuming it goes with it if anybody wants it all the decals are in great condition I did notice on the driver's door which I will show you it's got a little crackle I don't know why all the other decals are in great condition the coach the current owner keeps it all inside in a storage facility and again all the LED lights are working and they're up against the wall not inside the tube the awnings a little dirty uh, but it's an 18 foot power awning fabrics in excellent condition just looks like a little dirty little uh, soft scrub of bleach Probably take care of that. And you got a little area. Well, it's probably no. Okay, I'm sorry. That's the trim piece going all the way down. I was thinking it was a place for a table or something. This is pass-through storage. They've got it obviously loaded down, but I'll show you on the back side. And you have an access to the rear garage here in the back that I will show you. And again. I look for any oxidizing, uh, any curling, any crackling on the decals. That's what I look for. I didn't find any issues except for, as I said, the driver's door, which I will show you. Tires are going to be uh, original tires, and they were manufactured the fifth week of 2016. They're all Michelins. Let me show you. Well, I'll just show you why I'm here. They're in excellent condition. Coach has 15,000 miles on them, on the, uh, on the coach and the tires. But these are the best tires you can get. Let me show you with a little bit better lighting here. Manufacturing date, right there. The little four-digit code right by the rim in the little circle. Fifth week of 2016. Manufacturers say, tire manufacturers, lifespan of an RV tire is six to eight years. But I do know a reputable RV technician on YouTube swears he does at least 10, 10 years on tires. And he's got Michelins. And as I said, these are the absolute best tires you can get. Uh, and the tire sizes, 22, uh, 225, sorry, LT 225 75R 16s. There you go. Oh, and you do have the uh, fiberglass uh, running boards there. That was, I believe, part of an option or maybe even a package. And kind of back up here, show off. See if I can show off. Max Air vent covers. You see them. When I come back around, I'll do a sl slower pan, slower pan, just to show you the outside. 
Man, the sun's nice. I don't think it's gonna get me. Usually it gets me in certain angles. All right, this is the only issue that I found really as far as decals. And honestly, I'd like scrape that off and just kind of put some paint on it or something or just get a, uh, another decal, the same color and just cut a little strip and put it right there. Nobody would ever notice. Power heated mirrors, let's go ahead. Hop up in here. There you go. Currently, the coach has 15,000 one mile, almost 15,000 two miles on the coach currently. No check engine lights, always check for that. And you do have obviously the wood grain dash I pointed out and the smart Bluetooth stereo. And right there, I don't know if you can see it. Little scratches, just like probably about 10 little scratches. It looks like from a doggy, a little doggy. All right. Only other issue that I found, other than the little bit of cosmetic water damage up in this window, which was obviously from a window left open at some point, uh, the slide out seals are going bad. And this is a triple bulb seal, but the, one of the seals here on the side, they're, they're just, it needs to be replaced at some point. Uh, it won't leak. It's just a, it's a, like a, 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 another seal to keep water from coming in during extreme situations but uh, it is screwed on and so if you wanted to get the seal i could easily do this probably within an hour and do it myself this that's something you do not have to take into a dealer if you know anything about working on things so and right here see i'll show you this is the seal and the other part came off and uh anyway see it's just dry rotted and it's just screwed on that's one piece right there and it goes all the way down and screws on right here see and this little trim piece right here comes off and after you take it off put it back on you might have to recaulk this seam right here but uh yeah if you're good with your hands definitely it's a, a sunday afternoon in the garage or out in the driveway so and again this one needs to be replaced this one's totally off but uh, anyway the water won't get in there's still a, uh, a seal on the inside for when it's in I'm sorry when the slides out and there's a seal on the outside so when the slides in it's like a car door thing uh, the water's not going to get in it's just a triple bolt uh, seal system that they do most RV manufacturers do on their slide outs so uh, and you do have the awning package for your slides start from the back and then work kind of way more around around front showing the storage here's your ladder backup camera and you do have the blue ox tow system on this and i'll have to ask the owners i forgot but i don't think they're giving this away this was definitely a pricey feature on this coach so i have to double check but anyway if you're interested in the coach maybe you can work something out with the owners but i do know they're not giving it away there's your garage storage that i showed you and this is uh one of the access doors in the rear 7500 pound tow capability as i pointed out beautiful led light brakes here and uh, reverse lights here that light up probably pretty bright a lot bigger than your traditional uh, brake lights on rvs and again as i point out the garage this is your third access to that huge garage and that's passed through all the way to the front side of the coach all right dump areas here for your holding tanks and again your holding tanks are all protected 55 gallon gasoline tank on this coach 30 amp service the only reason why i know that is because it says it right there uh looks like a water hookup city water hookup outside shower hot and cold running water uh satellite hookup here for tv it looks like for yep for hooking up and you are solar prepped on this coach you do have a more ride system on this so you can air it up they can make it a more rigid uh, ride stiffen up the the bags on this coach there's your lp tank here 68 pound lp tank
I don't know what that is, to be honest. I don't know. It might be an ice maker. I'll have to double check. And this is going to be your generator. And it's a 4,000, I believe. Onan. Yeah, 4,000. Onan. All right. Condition, I'd say this coach is in great condition. I think any dealer would agree. As I said, the, the slide outs, the there's one on each side of the slide. So you've got four slide out seals that are vertical uh, and th they just need to be replaced at some point. But other than that, yeah, it's a nice coach. Thank God it's a beautiful day so I can show off that exterior, that Asdell fiberglass finish. And that color is bled all the way through the fiberglass. You scratch it, it stays the same color. All right. I always say it. I know I didn't get everything. But, uh, anyway, if you want to come and see the coach, just call the number on the ad you, or call 502-645-3124. If you like this video, I'd appreciate it if you give it a thumbs up. And if you have a comment, leave it below. And if you want to keep up to date on RVs coming for sale, usually in the Louisville, Kentucky area, you can always follow HelpSellMyRV.com on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube.